Here are some updates from our game about trading used or stolen cars. We've improved the car blueprint. We're upgrading it from the 2D version, you know it from the demo, to the 3D. The blueprint will show you the overall condition of the car, as well as the specific part you're working on. The color of the part will also indicate its condition. If it's red, it means it still needs a lot of repair. We know you'll want to do more than just drive cars, you'll also want to jump with them. We're planning to place ramps in several spots to enable that. We're working on making sure the car reacts well to jumps, and we're also fine-tuning the camera movement and slow motion effect for better immersion. We've added a feature where a billboard will crash when you hit it during your first jump, which will be part of one of the first missions. We're also working on adding an outline to the car parts you'll be working on, making it easier to replace and install new parts. We're continuously adding new locations that you'll gradually discover in our game. We've added a scrapyard, a place where you can trade scrap, one of our most valuable resources. We're also adding a hardware store, a place where you can buy basic tools such as a shovel, angle grinder, or metal detector, also needed for finding scrap. We're constantly working to make it easier for players to navigate the map. Our big map and GPS will be very helpful for this. They will allow you to set a route to chosen locations and check where key points like the hospital or police station are. Aside from developing systems and new mechanics, we're working on the visual elements of our game and solving other issues. We're working on a system to better organize the UI. As we add more mechanics, different windows start to overlap. We're making sure that the most important information is always visible. We've also fixed some physics issues, like the one where players would jump too high into the air, even when they didn't want to. We've improved the cleanliness calculations for cars. We know that in the demo version, some of you reported issues where the calculations weren't always accurate. We've now ensured that cleanliness calculations also account for missing car parts. We're constantly brainstorming with our community. Thank you for being so eager to get involved and help us choose names for specific NPCs and new locations. We have more plans in the works, so stay tuned. That's all for today. See you in the next devlog.